So uh, thanks uh, to the organizers of this uh, wonderful uh, uh, workshop uh, on the special day of the World Toilet Day. Uh, it, I, I would like to just continue with what uh, Mr. Valentine had just left to me with uh, uh, a big task of uh, giving me a three-year program into uh, 10 minutes or five minutes. So. Uh, that's uh, that's quite something to do with. But uh, let me start with uh, or add to what Mr. Valentine had uh, said about why bother partner in India. Uh, the thing is, uh, from the statistics which I gathered, I thought uh, uh, India uh, with three uh, 330 million people uh, still practicing open defecation. It's a huge percentage. Uh, where definitely uh, organizations uh, uh, waste could uh, definitely partner with NGOs and uh, do uh, a, a considerable uh, pro or, or provide a considerable impact on the whole uh, uh, sanitation in the sanitation sector. Now, audio trust. Next slide, please. Uh, uh, the reason why. Uh, uh, waste has also partnered with RDO Trust is this. One, it is because RDO Trust has a, a very uh, strong base of uh, working with uh, almost about 6,000 women self-help groups since 1998. And working with them had brought to light in, in 2008 that women were the first section of the society who are affected without having proper sanitation facilities and and therefore in 2008 when when uh, we had studied the uh, uh, status of uh, sanitation or mainly the open defecation status of tamil nadu we found uh, very 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 shocking it was that the nilgiris uh, which is a hill uh, mountainous uh, uh, district of Tamil Nadu, uh, ranking second in open defecation. So we we said, let's launch a campaign for making uh, Neil Greece an open defecation free uh, district by at least 2020. And there was the partnership with Waste, uh, which came in uh, with a lot of awareness programs and trainings for Masons, and then providing again providing the financial assistance to the women self-help groups to construct individual household toilets. About 68,000 uh, individual household toilets have been built. Simultaneously, there was also a program on building uh, uh, awareness in schools uh, for, uh, uh, for better sanitation facilities, especially where girl, child, girl children were there. And uh, uh, we thought that school children would be very good uh, sanitation ambassadors uh, when you're talking about promoting individual household toilets. So this school sanitation program was also another thing which was launched. And then the other stronger partnership with the waste uh, was on, in uh, taking up the securing water for food program, uh, which is a circular economy in sanitation for agriculture initiative. This was the very interesting part of the whole Thing where we looked at this entire thing, not only as toilets, but as sanitation system. How do we develop this as a, a sanitation system? Uh, next slide, please. So, <coughs> as, <coughs> sorry, as uh, uh, Mr. <coughs> Valentine had explained, we were also very keen to follow the uh, uh, approach, the diamond model approach where uh, we had the community, the customers as the vegetable growing farmers. Uh, and then we had the financiers who were already with us, working with us with the self groups, various uh, microfinance institutions, uh, agriculture business institutions. And then, of course, the local government, which is also there, which has been providing a lot of support to us uh, in uh, working with the self help group, as well as in trying to uh, bridge in with the, the Swachh Bharat uh, mission uh, <clears throat> assistance to the beneficiaries. But the business part was a tricky one for us, and it was a learning experience for us. Uh, 
but during the whole process of this uh, uh, project which we did to, under the securing water for food program uh, the circular economy in sanitation for agriculture we were able to uh, capture on organizing farmers producer companies and farmers groups who had taken up agri uh, entrepreneurship business and they also working with the the whole waste sector we were, we called the, we were able to organize the green workers into uh, into partnership firms to take up the production and uh, the sales of co compost as a business entity next slide please so <clears throat> so there are the farmers uh, uh, this 2243 uh, farmers uh, vegetable growers and tea cultivation farmers as our customers the next one please and the financial institutions and uh, we are happy that we were able to mobilize at 231000 uh, for 31000 dollars as matching funds from all these various uh, financial institutions as well as, as, well as the government uh, institutions uh, during the securing water for food program uh, for the three years from 2017 till 2020. Next slide, please. The government, of course, the, 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 the enormous support provided by the government, mainly when we had entered upon this whole uh, thing of uh, uh, integrated uh, waste management, both uh, uh, solid as well as uh, wet uh, waste. And uh, for the production of co-compost, we are able to use the, the premises of the government, which is called as the resource recovery parks. And the, uh, the this district head, we have an IAS officer, uh, the madam who's there with us for all the support, as well as the assistant director of uh, town panchayats, they were warmly welcoming, welcoming us to partnership with them. And uh, uh, the, the production of the co-compost is happening in their uh, uh, infrastructure, which they have set up. Next slide, please. So the business model, as I was saying, happy to note that the farmers had taken up uh, the whole uh, business of uh, uh, establishing farmers service centers and uh, also taking up the uh, the uh, agri business uh, activities. Next slide, please. And the, the women uh, green workers uh, taking up the co compost production. That was the slide on the right side. And uh, right now, the farmers produce uh, companies have also expanded in or uh, uh, tying up with the uh, agri business uh, companies and also. Uh, with an uh, organization, uh, eFresh, uh, uh, they have taken up a franchise to to do the marketing of the co-compost as well as other inputs which are required by the farmers. So that is what I would like to say. So the 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 breaking of the the silo to me is more of an integrated waste management, and also uh, waste is uh, not. Uh, not my business, but it is everybody's business. That's what I think. And everybody should contribute their little bit to, to do a very integrated uh, management of waste, which is also a wealth, and therefore ensure the, uh, the circular economy. And uh, one thing what we are proud of, the next slide, please, uh, we are proud of is that our accomplishment is there we were able to cater to 2,243 um, farmers, and then and then also the uh, the, uh, the earlier whatever I mentioned the finances which we have been able to ra uh, um, raise through various financial institutions and the government support in uh, and taking up the production of co-compost in their infrastructure, and also the partnership with various institutions. The next slide, next next please. The next one, please. So we have 18 partners in the consortium. That's the silo which we are talking about again. It's not only technical on uh, integrated waste management. It's also uh, a, a very uh, integrated partnership uh, which uh, has to take place for anything to be more successful and sustainable, I think. So with that, I say 
Thank you. Next slide, please. And uh, any questions, I'm ready to answer. Thank you. I think uh, uh, it was wonderful. And again, you're going to both get uh, best marks for being on time. So I think uh, I will first throw the floor open to questions. And then if nobody pops up a question, I've got a few of my own, of course, to ask. Okay, Joyce, go ahead. Yes, I have a question. And oh, by the way, thank you very much for the presentation. Very insightful. Um, my question is um, to uh, Mr. Rajkumar. And it's about them. For me, I, I wrote about mental silos. The silos is something, the mentality, how people think. And I come from Kenya. And I have seen you, so you have said you work with over 2,000 vegetable growers. And um, from my history, what I know is that getting people to work with what was formerly waste, you know, it's like a barrier. So telling them this used to be, you know, <laughs> uh, waste, and then you will make food of it. it. How do you go about that? Is there, do you have also like some um, education, you know, capacitation systems or how do you go about that? Thank you. Uh, so I, I can just, I can just answer that a little bit, a little. Uh, it 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 was a challenge, of course. Uh, but uh, but what has happened is, uh, see, uh, even our own uh, people who have been working with us, uh, the, the staff who have been working with us, uh, going and talking to farmers, saying that here is a co compost which is prepared from uh, fecal sludge, and uh, please use it. Uh, 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 it is good for the crop and things like that. You know? so, and uh, they were themselves feeling a little uh, uh, hesitant to do that. But it was so shocking that when we met the farmers, they said, see, we've been practicing open defecation. Where was this waste going into our fields? So therefore, we don't have any hesitation in, in uh, it, that our crops are grown with this waste or whatever it is. But then uh, when we had uh, uh, the best part of the whole breakthrough was uh, when we worked with a, a group of uh, farmers here, we have the caste system, you know, different castes are there in India. And uh, we have a Lingayat caste, which is, that means they are like the Brahmins. This particular village did the breakthrough in the whole thing because these farmers were ready to take the co-compost produced because there they said uh, exposure was provided to them to come and see the way uh, how the co-compost is prepared. The fecal sludge, so it's safe, number one. Then also the way it is incorporated along with the wet waste, but two, Number three, the co-compost is being sent for analysis before it is being distributed to the farmers to ensure that it has the basic parameters, uh, the nutrient parameters, the heavy metal parameters are met, and the most important of the, the pathogens. And so this was something which the farmers said, this is very safe. So, so even, the, the, even the green workers, they were saying, we safe to handle this waste. So a lot of exposure program, of course, a lot of trainings, and also uh, the farmer to farmer, which is more acceptable. All the best. Uh, thank you. That was this lovely. Is, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, in USA first, that there were, there were some regulation put on compost as, uh, you know, the hippies, uh, you know, the, the cool people on California, they were the ones doing all this composting, human waste composting and all that. But regulation came when a lot of people eating spinach made from that, using that compost, uh, got sick. Then some years back, I remember, similarly, cucumber was coming from Hungary. It had been grown in some compost with pathogens. So I'm so happy that these safety tests are done. I, I did not know that these uh, that there was any kind of is there any regulation or are you doing this voluntarily? Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to just uh, add, add to the the, the part of uh, uh, how how are we ensuring this uh, 
the quality parameters of uh, the co-compost which is being used uh, for uh, uh, the uh, vegetable cultivation. Now, uh, uh, he, uh, unfortunately, we were also struggling a lot to see whether the government has got any regulation on uh, the uh, compost or uh, manure prepared with human sludge. But there was no guidelines till now, as far as I, uh, we are, uh, we can see. So what we did is uh, during the course of this whole project, we ourselves came out with 22 parameters. It was combining the parameters of WHO, the, uh, uh, the uh, Pollution Control Board parameters and the EU uh, parameters. We had combined all of them and made a set of uh, 22 uh, uh, parameters for testing the co-compost. And we have uh, found that, that those, so all the 22 parameters were fair enough or sound enough for us to start with because there was nothing available to, for us to work on. And uh, right now, that is what we are using. And uh, uh, even we are trying to see if our policy makers can have a look at it and give us more suggestions on uh, what they can tell us. Uh, because uh, till now, uh, co-compost co prepared with human fecal sludge does not have any standard standardization or parameters. Uh